I'm now going to briefly walk you through the Design Forward spaces um, on the Design Forward website. Each module has a structured space that's the same from module to module. And so here in orientation, we want to get you familiar with um, what those different spaces are and what you'll be doing in them. The first thing you need to know is that um, on the Design Forward website, you'll be creating an account. And whenever you're working in your module, you want to make sure you're logged in. To create your account, you're going to go to the DF website and click this login register link. This is going to bring up a page with um, basically two different forms. On the left is where you would go if you're logging in, if you when, once you already have your account. And on the right is where you're going to set up your account. It's pretty straightforward. You want to enter your name, choose a username for yourself. Um, if you'd like, you can give us a nickname. This is how your name will appear publicly on the DF website. So if you prefer not to have your first name or your username be your public um, name on the site, you can choose something else here. We do need your email address. Um, and if you like, this isn't required, but you can give us a brief bio. Tell us a little bit about who you are, understanding that this will be publicly posted. Um, you can also share a website, a URL, if you have one. Um, and um, if you already have a Hypothesis account, you can tell us the username that you use. Don't worry if you don't, you'll get one um, later on in orientation. Um, if you like, go ahead and tell us what uh, module you're currently in, but don't worry, I keep those up to date um, manually as well. Um, and finally, you're gonna choose a password. This does need to be a strong password. Um, the form will warn you if the password you enter isn't strong enough. Um, and the last step is entering the registration code, which was emailed to you um, with the orientation program. When you're done, let us know that you're not a robot. And at that point, you'll be able to register. You will get a confirmation email that you need um, to open and click a link in order to confirm that you are who you say you are. And once you're done, you'll come back here um, and log in. I'm gonna go ahead and log in now. Once you're logged in to the DF website, everything looks almost exactly the same, except that instead of a login register button in the upper right, you'll see a button that says your portfolio. And I'll talk about what that is in a minute. So now moving on to the structure of the modules themselves. As I said, each module has um, a standard structure. There's a home page. Um, and then from there, there is this page, which is called topics um, or topics for consideration. The topics are um, simply uh, the main ideas or themes of the module that you'll be exploring. Each topic page contains um, a short text synopsis and a video for you to watch. The next uh, space is called questions or questions for discussion. Uh, questions are just that, prompts to get conversation going in the module. Um, you can answer these questions. You can reply to other people's answers. You can also submit your own questions for discussion, and we encourage you to do so. We will be seeding this conversation with, our, with questions, but we, we love to have participants pose their own prompts and questions as well. Please note that you do have to be logged into this site in order to submit a question, and we encourage you to be logged in when you're replying to other people's questions. Uh, the next stop is uh, resources. Um, every Design Forward module has a collection of readings or resources for you to explore. Uh, the group resource is, or resources, there's usually two to three of them. For orientation, there's only one, um, are ones that we ask everybody to look at, uh, read, review, and annotate. The choice resources are really a choose your own adventure. You can pick one that seems particularly interesting to you. In the green box here, um, you'll get more instruction about this later in the journey, but in the green box here are instructions about how you get signed up for and logged into Hypothesis, which is the annotation tool that we use <clears throat> in Design Forward. Um, Hypothesis is a great tool if you've never used it before, for, <clears throat> excuse me, for annotating texts online and having a collaborative conversation around texts. Just to show you what that looks like, this is the reading for orientation. With me logged into Hypothesis, you see a sidebar pops up. These show um, annotations from other previous DF participants. Um, and I can go into the article here, click on any of those annotations and see what somebody has said. But I can also highlight something and choose to annotate or highlight it. Um, 
and that will make, uh, if I annotate it, that would make it visible to others in the DF module as well. Again, you're going to get more instruction about this later in the orientation journey, um, but just so you know, Hypothesis is the tool that we use, um, and uh, we'll be using that to annotate the readings for all of the module readings in Design Forward. Um, and then this next space is called activities or activities for exploration. Every module has a selection of activities that we've curated. Some of them draw on the DF workbook, um, which is a kind of guided um, uh, exploration for you throughout Design Forward. Um, there is a PDF version of it that will be available to you, but we also have um, made it possible to, to complete many of the workbook activities um, fully online. Um, and in, in many cases, they will be part of module activities. So in this case, this is a workbook activity. This um, activity for orientation is more of a prompt asking you to think about and upload an image. Um, you'll get more information about activities later in the journey as well. And then, as I said before, once you're logged in, the last space um, in every module is what's called your portfolio. Um, and it will be linked to you from every module, but the thing, the most important thing to know about your portfolio is that it is not module specific. It um, sits like an umbrella over your entire design forward experience. So if you enroll in multiple modules, it will follow you. Um, at the top of your portfolio, you have a bi your bio, you can update your profile, um, update your avatar. It will share any activities that you've completed, as well as your most recent comments, your latest annotations, and your latest question that you've posed. That's a really quick overview of um, the entire uh, module structure, topics, questions, resources, and activities, and then your portfolio. Um, from here in the journey in the orientation exploration, you will dive into each of these a little bit more deeply and learn how they work.